வெல்கம் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் டு மை யூடியூப் சேனல் ஆர் கார்த்திக் குமார் டிஐ வீடியோ டுட்டோரியல்ஸ் த்ரூ திஸ் சேனல் ஐ வில் டெலிவர் வீடியோ டுட்டோரியல்ஸ் ஆன் சாஃப்ட்வேர் லைக் மேத் லேப் இ டேப் அண்ட் ஆட்டோகட் எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் திஸ் வீடியோ டுட்டோரியல் வில் கண்டெய்ன் இன் டீடைல் டீடைல்ஸ் விச் ஆர் ரெக்வயர்ட் ஃபார் சிமுலேஷன் ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரிக் சர்க்கியூட் இன் திஸ் சாஃப்ட்வேர்ஸ் and none of the details which are required for simulation of the circuit is hidden every minute detail is shown in this video tutorial for your benefit so kindly do subscribe this channel and share it with your friends thank you welcome friends welcome to my channel this is the second video on etap software kindly subscribe to the channel so that you can get more informative videos related to etap software now before going into designing any electric circuit in etap software we need to know what is the use of each in each toolbar then only we will be able to design electric circuit and then simulate the circuit in etap software now let us first see bus bar in our toolbar in our toolbar we are having various icons here after going through all the icons in all the two bar and all the menu bar we will be going into circuit so kindly subscribe to this channel and watch the all the video tutorial now the first icon we are going to see is bus bar here you can drag a bus bar into a space by using your left click on the mouse left click on the mouse hold it and drag it into the space you can see that it by itself it assigns name to bus bar in an sequence here first one is bus bar 1 bus bar 2 bus bar 3 by itself it assigns number for all the bus bar or otherwise you can name it according to your device what is the need of bus bar if you need to connect two or more elements in an electric circuit you need bus bar and then if you want to connect a generator a motor or static load you must need a bus bar in a circuit without bus bar you cannot connect a generator motor or static load that is the need of bus bar in etap software here all the datas which are entered in bus bar are used for study case study here we are having the option called as case study for the case study option all the data is whatever you entered in your bus bar it will be taken into account and all the protective elements which are connected to the bus bar will be ignored during the studies all the protective devices which are connected to the bus bar will be ignored to the studies and this bus bar or nodes it can be changed at any point of the circuit next now let us go into the property of a bus bar the first property is information that is rating of the bus bar and amps rated voltage and rated current if you connect a generator to this bus bar this bus bar will automatically take that operating voltage of the generator as is bus bar voltage it will take the generator voltage as the bus bar voltage the next one is id here you can use unique name up to 25 character characteristics this alpha numeric 25 characters next the nominal voltage this operating voltage of the bus bar which is entered in kilo volt here this is initial voltage this is your operating voltage this is initial kv and this is your operating key what is the difference between initial and operating is 
if you are having a load connected to the generator and if the load is only drawing 10 kV but if your generator is 100 kV here you will have 10 kV here it will have 100 kV that is the difference between operating and initial value right next tag if you move your cursor on the space it will indicate the condition that is here you can here if we need to enter the feeder tag number it can be this feeder tag number it can be a 25 let us alpha numeric key. the next it is an equipment name here it can be up to 50 alpha numeric characters here it can be up to 100 alpha numeric character here you are having various priority level for this bus bar critical essential non essential others and other things here it can be assigned zone and area this bus bar can be assigned to a zone and the next bus bar can be assigned to a different zone next service in service out that means if the bus bar is in service i can use this radio button to move the bus bar into service and by using this radio service i can move the bus bar out of service or the bus bar which needs needed to be added to the circuit in the future in and out service in that is it is working service out means it is disabled this option is also available in it next connection this bus bar is used for either three phase connection or single phase two watt connection or single phase three watt connection here single phase two watt indicates two hot wires or one hot to one neutral wire here single four single phase load can be connected to single phase two watt bus bar next single phase three watt it refers to three wire bus bar which is hot neutral hot which is hot neutral and hot it can be used for center tapped connection it can be used for center tapped connection single phase device can also be connected to this bus bar by using the single phase 3 watt single phase 2 watt is either the two wire can be hot hot or a two wire can be hot to neutral in three phase wire the three wires are hot neutral hot it is used for center tapped connection here we can enter all the details regarding our bus bar next load it will give you the what is the power drawn by the load m bar mw mbr megawatt everything all the details regarding the load is displayed here the motor type and generator type which are connected to the bus bar it will be listed here next standard either you want a an american standard bus bar or european standard bus bar you can specify it here if you are having synchronous motor and induction motor it may not be connected to the bus bar it can be directly connected to the generator via cable but if you are having generator and motor on static load it, it needs to be connected via a bus bar these are the details which you need to know about bus bar kindly subscribe to the channel in the next video you will see the next icon in the toolbar ac toolbar the next icon is two winding transformer thank you